it's a sunday and before i start finish cleaning up my living room i'm going to have my breakfast i'm just going to make some ginger tea right there as shown in the video and bring it to a boil i'm going to add them to my cup and milan already woke up a while ago so i have to speed this up and clean the living room he wanted to go in yesterday but i refused because the floors were so dusty but although he kept insisting i just had to say no i'm going to warm up some mandazi in my microwave mandazi is just a snack slash breakfast recipe in my country and i always make sure that i have some in my fridge I'm also going to add some banana to my silver plate right there. Milan requested for it. After preparing my tea, today I'm going to have my tea in the bedroom since the living room is still dirty. And Milan already sat on the only seat. Since it's Sunday today, I'm going to be having my tea and listening to Joy Losteen. I love his motivational speeches it makes me start my day in a good mood on sunday and he is so inspiring i will be talking for a bit and i'll be right back on youtube channel social media we'll keep you encouraged and inspired i like to start with something funny and i heard about this positive farmer and this negative farmer when it would rain the positive farmer would say lord thank you for watering our crops the negative farmer would say, yeah, but if it keeps this up, it's going to rot the roots. It was always so negative. One day they went bird hunting together in a boat. Positive farmer just got a new bird dog, so proud of him. He shot a bird, fell in the water, said to the negative farmer, watch this. The dog jumped out of the boat, ran on top of the water, picked up the bird, ran back on top of the water, put it in the boat. Said to the negative farmer, what'd you think? Negative farmer said, I should have known it. That dog can't even swim. <laughs> Say it like you mean it. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I will be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will never be the same. In Jesus' name, God bless you. The limits for your life. Quit telling yourself that you'll never be successful, never get out of debt, never meet the right person. Tell yourself a new story. I'm made in the image of God. I'm crowned with favor. I'm a masterpiece. There is greatness in me. Whatever I touch, story contradicting his story. Have you let people, circumstances, I was so tired that Saturday that I had to skip this part of the video and do it the next day on Sunday. So Sunday here I am. I'm going to be cleaning my floors. I'm just going to start the video by sweeping my floors right there as shown in the video. And if you're working with a broom on a tiny space you have to make sure that you sweep gently or everything will be flying back to your coaches and the walls that we just cleaned so i'm going to do that gently that so first i'm going to reclaim that edge of the tile since i swept with the broom it's a little dusty so i'm going to clean that part up for that i'm just going to be using my rug right there I shown you the video to clean the edge of the tile and the walls I shown you the video and then I'm going to go ahead and mop my floors I shown you the video so I'll leave it waiting for just a little bit and I'll be right back mm -hmm. After cleaning under my coaches as shown in the video, I'm now going to go ahead and just move back the coaches where they belong as shown in the video. So when I did my other deep clean, I always love it when I 
clean under where I place my coaches or under my coaches that space there I love to clean it and then I'm going to go ahead and just dust off my coach again as shown in the video since I cleaned the ceiling and things are falling from the ceiling to the coach and I also had to reclean the entertainment area you guys I don't know why I did that before I cleaned the ceiling so I dusted it off camera so for the floors I'm just going to be cleaning my floors and mopping them as I move my coaches around making sure that I clean every inch of this floor and especially where I removed my carpet it was super dusty for the carpet I took it outside and dusted it off it was clean it was just dusty actually <laughs> so i'm going to return it back the next day after i clean the floors i'll leave it watching for a little bit and i'll be right back After cleaning my floor and letting it dry, I'm going to go ahead and spread my carpet right there. And like I said before, I removed my carpet from the floor and I dusted it off and swept it and made sure it was clean before I returned it to the floor. I also found this piece of blanket that I really really love. The ends of this blanket is looking so good and it's super soft so I'm going to add it to my two-seater for deco. It almost looks like my carpet but the reason why I'm putting it there I just love the ends of that blanket and how it's so so soft. So guys, I'm done with the floors. I'm now going to go ahead and rearrange my living room the way it was before. I'm just going to return back my blankets where they belong after the living room floor dries. And after everything dries, including the walls. So for this part of the video, I did it late in the evening, actually at night. I'm just going to redecorate my living room and show in the video and then I'm going to return back my throw pillows right where they belong. I really love that kikoi right there and I love to put it on the arm of my coach of my two coaches right there because my coach has like this material that tends to fade. Yeah that's why i put that right there to cover that up i'm actually thinking of buying some sofa covers but for now we're just going to work with what we have i i was telling you guys about this diy channel that i found she's a woman and she's called 
great name dear loom that's where i found how to make some diy throw pillows at home without spending a dime i love her channel so much you can go check it out on youtube and i love most of our videos that i can recreate at home so i'll let you see the pillows after i redecorate and i'll let you see them up close so you can see how they look if you love them yeah and then i'm going to go ahead and add back my pillows to my coaches as shown in the video and moving on i'm going to return back all the decor to the cabinets on my tv stand right there as shown in the video i made lots and lots of diy decors but don't worry about that I'll show you closely what I made for this TV stand. This is how the entertainment center looks up close. First, I'm going to show you what's on top of this white stool that I have right here. I have that deco piece that I made yesterday. And then on that blue bottle right there, I have, I'm using it as my oil diffuser. And then right here, I have my deco black bottle here and I have some flowers on top of it. I plucked some flowers when I went outside in the evening today before I finished cleaning up. Although they are starting to wilt, they make that space look so good. And then right over there, I have that joy piece of deco bottle that i also diy'd and this is how this deco piece looks i really, really love it and the fact that i didn't even take an hour to diy both of them it's super easy and i love it i also have this bottle right here and i diy'd it and it looks so so good you guys actually it's one of my favorite diy bottles wine bottles yeah and then right here i just have another oil diffuser that i'm going to remove some other time and take it to the kitchen and then over here on this cabinet i have these dummy books I made these dummy books right here for deco and I just love this fabric that I use you guys. It brightens this part of the cabinet up and then on, on top of it I just have that container lid for this perfume bottle right here. It was for Baba Milan and I used the perfume hub so i took the bottle for deco and it gives that space a very beautiful look and then right here to the further stand i have this piece of heart that i just had nowhere to put it so i put it in the cabinet right there right there it's written home sweet home and i loved how it turned out it and then right over here i have this diy fake tulips that i also made myself and they brighten that part of the cabinet up and then down below that cabinet i just have my candle holders and everything else that i don't want to clutter around and then over here, I have one of my favorite DIY things too. I made this basket and I love, love this basket, you guys. Yeah. And then over close to it, I have this other flower, DIY flower that I made. And it's on that black bottle again. So this is how this entertainment center looks. From this camera angle, you guys, I love, love this space. I'm going to do one or two things about it. I'm going to change one or two. And I'm also working on some DIY flowers that I'm going to replace with the flowers that are wilting. 
and then over here i have another one of my favorite things this blanket that i had at home and i didn't even realize that it was this beautiful you guys i love love this blanket okay. i love the ends of that blanket so much and then moving on to that two seater coach with my favorite blanket i have this DIY throw pillow that I also made and I love love these throw pillows and from this angle this is how that couch looks and then moving on to the floor I have my carpet right here as I told you before I removed my carpet outside and dusted it off and now it's super clean and it's looking good right there and then moving on to that one that one sitter on the further stand i have that throw pillow right there i haven't finished seeing it that's why it looks a little weird and then to that part of the coach right there on that arm of the two coaches right there i have that kikoi right there it's a light blanket that i also love the color combination in it and then on that three seater i have my throw pillows that i diy'd i love love these pillows and this one this white one that is furry i really really love it it brightens that three seater coach hub and this one here is just another throw pillow that i also made and this one right here is another one of my favorite throw pillows it looks so so good you guys and i love how the flowers in the inside are popping out from the white fabric outside of the outside of the pillow i really really love this pillow you guys and then on that coach um i have another blanket here actually baba milan bought this blanket and i just used it to decorate this part of my my couch because my couch has this kind of fabric that fades here and it leaves some white white spots here and there and i don't like that especially that part of the couch it's so faded that's why i placed that blanket right there and that pillow right there it looks so so good from that angle and then moving on from the door right there i have that carpet right there or is it a rug yeah i also love it i moved in and found baba milan and already bought it i don't know where i bought it and it makes that part of the door look so beautiful and then right over here i have another one of my throw pillows right here And then let's move on to the walls. I have these DIY wallets that I did a while ago. And my sister came over and she just told me that they would look much better if they're in one part of the wall. So I just combined them and placed them in one part of the wall. And that is how it looks from this angle. I love, love that. And then this is how the entertainment center looks from this angle, you guys. I love, love this. And for the walls, since I cleaned my walls, the walls are looking so bright. And the wall hearts are making them much, much beautiful. And my door right there is super clean. This wall, look at it it's super bright and it looks so good and that wood frame right there it's also clean the ceiling is also clean you guys i just love how this living room is bright now since i did the deep clean and look at that that is how my favorite piece of blanket looks from this angle you guys look at it 
I love the hands in it and it almost looks like my carpet right there. But I love it, yeah. <laughs> and then right over here, I have another one of my DIY baskets. So you guys, I hope you liked this video. I worked so hard to make this video, you guys. And I love how my living room turned out with my diys and my wall hearts and everything looks so good i love my throw pillows and that blanket right there i can't just stop talking about it so you guys kindly make sure you subscribe to my channel to support me and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss my uploads see you in my next video bye